hello 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 welcome back welcome to if you're new my name is Abria Perry and welcome to my channel so oh, it's so crazy to say this it is the end of 2017 like wow like it came so quick and it literally sounds so crazy letting that come out of my mouth but it is the end of 2017 and I have a whole bunch of beauty favorites in front of me, a whole bunch of things that have come out in 2017 and literally made my year um, as a result of them coming out. So I wanted to film today's video which is my beauty favorites 2017. These are in my opinion the absolute best products that I purchased in 2017. I have some hair products, some skincare products which is the love of my life. I absolutely love skincare and some beauty favorites. Um, some of these things, I want to say like one of them, I don't think it came out in 2017, but I personally purchased it and discovered it in 2017. So for me, it is my 2017 beauty favorite. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching today. Okay, so we're going to start with hair because um, basically I have two lines and then... Um, two single products that personally I just love this year. I'm going to start off with the My L Organics Pomegranate and Honey line because this entire line just blessed my life. Like, oh my gosh. I remember I was at school and I got a package and my mom called me and she's like, you should have gotten a package. And I'm like, oh, what is it? She's like, it's hair products. I was so excited, so freaking happy to get these. She sent me the whole line when it first came out and I have literally been using it ever since. So this entire line has the curl smoothie, the leave-in conditioner, twisting souffle, and curling custard. I believe this is the entire line. I think I have everything. Um, and I absolutely just love this line this year. It worked amazing on my hair. My hair can be kind of stubborn and it can get used to products really really quickly which can be kind of annoying um, because it seems like I'm constantly having to try new things. I do have a few holy grails, grails that work on my hair regardless like eco style or works on my hair regardless. Um, my Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner works on my hair regardless which is what I use in my wash day routine so if you haven't seen that video check it out. But um, I think that this line might be going into my holy grails because I got it in October and you know it's almost January at this point and my hair hasn't started to reject it yet. With, yeah. So to keep in trend with that Myel Organics, this is not in this particular line, but this is their Mongongo oil line, and this is the pomade to oil treatment, hair dress to moisturize scalp, condition hair, and eliminate frizz. And I have absolutely enjoyed this product as well. I really, really like it for taking down my twists and my braids. Um, it comes out as a pomade and then when you rub it together it turns into a really 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 nice oil I'm just gonna, <laughs> you know we don't waste product around here but um this product is really really great a little goes a long long way and I highly suggest it if you haven't tried it out yet I think that it's great for all hair types on um, whether you know you're a 2c or 4c I think that it really is um, a great hair dress like it says it moisturizes scalp conditions hair and eliminates frizz what more could you ask for and like I said I got I also got this with this um with this line my mom sent it to me with this line so I was using this all homecoming week um she sent it to me at like, the beginning of the week so like I'm in concerts and y'all know how hot concerts are and I'm I used this on my hair and I walked out and my braid out Still looked exactly like it did when I went into the concert so it really really does help with that frizz control which can be a big issue with me sometimes um, my hair can literally just grow into anything um so next up is it's kind of bittersweet um 
for me anyway. I absolutely love this line since it recently came out and it is the As I Am Long and Luxe line and it's pomegranate and passion fruit um so i guess there's a you know pomegranate theme this year and i say that it's bittersweet with this line in me because i think i might be allergic to the passion fruit in it or something else in this line i just have really really sensitive skin and um I have to be really careful with things that I use that are going to come in contact with my skin. So it didn't have any effect on my scalp, like my scalp wasn't burning or anything. But I did start to get like some irritation on my neck and my chest, like anywhere that the shampoo and conditioner kind of ran down when I was rinsing it out of my hair. Which sucks because I absolutely love it. So I know this sounds a little crazy, but I ended up just having to like take a little bit of Benadryl um, if I was going to use this line which usually wasn't a big deal because I wash my hair at night anyway so you know sometimes you have to do some crazy things for, <laughs> for the things that you love but it wasn't a major issue it was just a little bit of irritation it's not like I was going into anaphylactic shock or anything like that so I feel like um a little bit of irritation from this is not that big of a deal especially with me personally because my skin gets irritated from darn near anything it's just that sensitive um so in this line i have been using the conditioner strengthening strengthening and hydrating treatment shampoo strengthening shampoo hydrating hair wash and the groger <laughs> that's funny groger leave-in conditioner i've read this but i've never said it out loud but it's funny saying it out loud and it's for types three two four hair and like i said i just think this is a really good um line i like the leave-in it's been working really well in this in the colder months um with keeping my hair moisturized and this shampoo and conditioner i really like as well i don't feel like this shampoo strips my hair which um, can be an issue when I typically don't try out new shampoos because my holy grail shampoo is literally just my holy grail I will try out new conditioners but um, like I said I really don't I feel like whenever I use a shampoo that strips my hair of its oils and it just dries out my hair it takes me forever to get the moisture back in my hair and kind of balance my hair back to the way that it was so I don't even like to play around with shampoos but my mom is actually natural as well and me and her have similar hair um and it, it acts the same way so she tried this first and she told me that she didn't have any issues so I decided to give it a try and then I ended up liking it a lot so I had to put this on my list of hair products that I absolutely love this year and then last but not least in my hair product is this Argan oil of Morocco weightless healing dry oil this stuff is bomb y'all like so freaking 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 bomb i use this whenever i do a slick back hair style um so if i have a sleek bun um slick back bun or if i have a pulled up bun um for christmas if you have me on snapchat or instagram i had like a braided crown and i use this and it is amazing it keeps my hair so smooth and like Leak as well as it gives it a lot of shine but like it says it's a weightless healing dry oil so I don't feel like my hair is oily like once I take that style out I can you know just braid my hair up that night and then the next day I can have a braid out if I want without feeling like my hair is heavy with a lot of products and I feel like this has also been helping me to get sleek looks without having to use a lot of edge control or eco styler I'm gonna move in to skincare which is my fave and it's actually so funny you would think that I have would have more skincare um but yeah I'm a creature of habit with a lot of things especially my skin because like I said I have really sensitive skin and I don't like to rock the boat too too much but these two products um 
worked really well for me this year and I have to share them with you guys. So I am a huge fan of the Philosophy line. I use the Philosophy Purity Face Wash. I have been using it for years, like literally since I was in high school. And I have, I've probably switched my moisturizer, I mean sorry, my face wash maybe twice um, since that time. And it was really just a matter of me not being able to get my hands on my purity at that time but for the most part I use my purity and that's pretty much what I stick to and just philosophy in general so me and my mom my mom and I excuse me my mom and I always use the philosophy hope in a jar moisturizer if you're familiar with it it is so amazing it is super duper duper moisturizing but my mom actually has really, really dry skin um, on the regular. So, of course, it gets even more dry in the winter. And I kind of have combination skin, but I find that using products that are better suited for dry skin works better for me than using products that are made for oily skin because then that dries my skin out, if that makes any sense. Anyway, um, we came across the When Hope Is Not Enough, which is basically a step up from Hope In A Jar. So it's kind of like on some, your skin is doing its own thing. You need some extra TLC and a prayer for like, you need the Lord's help and somebody needs to lay their hands on your skin. This is what this moisturizer is for. And it looks like this. It is amazing. It is a really nice, thick consistency. And literally, a little bit goes a long way. Like, I can take out like a dime size and just dot it all over my face. And it spreads out so nicely. So, so moisturizing. My makeup has been going on so, so well. So, what else to say about it? And I like to use that with some vitamin E oil. And this is from Measurable, Measurable Defense. I actually get this from TJ Maxx. I was getting it. Um, I was getting another vitamin E oil from Whole Foods. But it was literally just unnecessarily overly priced. And this vitamin E oil actually works better in my opinion. I think it might be a little bit more pure. Um, and vitamin E oil is really, really good for your skin. It's really good for dark spots, um, any type of hyperpigmentation, which is something that can be a major issue with women of color. So if you find yourself personally struggling with anything like that, um, I definitely, definitely recommend vitamin E oil. Now on to makeup and a good portion of this makeup of 2017 is Fenty of freaking course Rihanna went and did that like she killed it I can't even I didn't even know that this was something that was missing from my life and now that I have it I don't think I can live without it so of course I have the Fenty foundation Fenty beauty foundation in the color 410 I am obviously 410 I love this foundation it matches me perfectly I have it on right now and I am NOT a foundation person I like I said I love skincare I would much rather just focus on my skin and if I was gonna use any type of face makeup I usually just use concealer under my eyes and I would just um, highlight with concealer and then do some contouring but this foundation has converted me. I even need to rant about this because I know you guys have seen enough videos of this and use it yourself. But I had to add, I had to add it in here. I couldn't, I couldn't just skip over it. Um, as well as the soft matte primer. Love, love, love this. I love the Fenty highlighter duos. Right here in my hand, I have um, the Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. Um, and the kilowatt highlighters and then I have the which color is this oh the me money and hustler baby and I just oh lord y'all bury me with these for real like I don't even know make sure they put this on me at my funeral cuz 
what? Like, what? Every time I look at this, it just makes me happy. <laughs> but honestly, Rihanna did that. I, I couldn't ask for um, a better beauty line this year. And all the inclusion that this line has is just absolutely amazing. And it's just so great to me that something like this came out this year and I can't say any I can't say anything more about it I'm just speechless um so for my last two beauty favorites I have my body beauty sponge by real techniques it is stained from my makeup it is not dirty I clean my beauty blender after I use it every time after I use it and it's still just <laughs> stain but I absolutely love this sponge this is the big one this is the regular size sponge and this is the body sponge from real technique if you all have not tried some of the products in this video I highly highly suggest it if you couldn't tell from the video I love them <laughs> and I would definitely say that they were one of my favorite parts of 2017 and I will definitely be bringing them into 2018 with me so thank you all for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe so we enter the new year together I will talk to you all next time